my dear friends i am taking fifth question of second paper k5002 a very important question define and distinguish between cognizable and non cognizable offense or you can say cognizable cases and non cognizable cases so the difference between these two type of cases is very essential to know meaning of cognizable and non cognizable offense first definition of cognizable offense or cognizable case according to section 2c cognizable offense means an offense for which and cognizable case means a case in which a police officer may in accordance with the first schedule or under any other law for the time being in force arrest without warrant my dear friend this cognizable offense or cognizable case is a very serious case in this case a police officer according to section 2c can arrest a person without any uh, warrant or any order of the magistrate second definition of non cognizable offense or non cognizable case non cognizable offense or non cognizable cases are lighter cases in comparison to the cognizable cases cognizable cases are more serious in comparison to the non cognizable cases and the definition of non cognizable offense is according to under 2c or under the same section 2c non cognizable offense means for which and non cognizable case means a case in which a police officer has no authority to arrest without warrant under first schedule my dear friend in non cognizable cases police officer has no authority to arrest a person without warrant to arrest a person a police officer has to take a order from the magistrate then he can arrest so my dear friends two type of cases cognizable cases and non cognizable cases the difference between these two by the definitions under 2c i think the difference between these two is clear now i i am going to distinguish between cognizable and non cognizable offense i will give you some more points for the difference between these two my dear friends the difference between cognizable offense and non cognizable offense as i have described in the definition the difference between these two but i am giving you some points some more points to differentiate these two first point cognizable offenses are usually serious offenses first point this is the first point of cognizable offense this is the first point this is also first point non cognizable offenses non cognizable offenses are generally 
lighter offenses. I am taking parallel these two cases. In first, and this is also first, cognizable offense and this is non-cognizable offense. I am taking these two cases parallel. In both the first point, the difference between cognizable and non-cognizable are given. Here is second point also differentiate these two. In a cognizable offense, the police may arrest without warrant, as I have defined in the definition. Second, in a non-cognizable offense, the police may, no, may not arrest without warrant. This is the second condition of cognizable offense and non-cognizable offense. This is the second difference. Now third difference. This is the third difference, my dear friends. Uh, three and three. Because I am taking parallel these two cases. In a non-cognizable offense, proceedings are started by filing a complaint by the party. This is the way of proceeding. And in third, also non-cognizable offense, the proceedings start shumotu. This is the difference between these two. How, pro how proceedings are started? This is the third point of differentiation. Now, my dear friends, I am taking fourth point. My dear friends, now I am taking fourth point of difference between cognizable offense and non-cognizable offense. I have taken three points. Now this is the fourth point. In fourth point, in cognizable offense, police start investigation, shumotu, at once. Fourth, in parallel, non-cognizable offense, previous sanction of the state is essential. In non-cognizable offense, previous sanction of state is essential. This is the fourth difference. Fifth difference. Cognizable offense is considered against an individual. This offense, cognizable offense is considered against individual. Fifth, non-cognizable offense is considered against the society as a whole. This is the fifth difference between cognizable offense and non-cognizable offense. My dear friends, I have taken five differences between cognizable and non-cognizable offense. And this difference is written on the board parallel, one, one. It means First one cognizable, second one non-cognizable, then second, second, it means first, second cognizable, second, second non-cognizable. In the same way, third, third, fourth, fourth and fifth, fifth, these are the points of differences between cognizable offense and non-cognizable offense. This is a very important question of this second paper, my dear friends. This question may be of 10 marks or 4 marks. This question, I think, is a very important question and you should take it seriously. And again, I am making a request in the last to you. 
दिस इज माय चैनल नेम चैनल मैथ्स बाय धर्मवीर सिंह दबास ओपन इट एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल आई शैल बी वेरी थैंकफुल टू यू